the back and forth a minute. Oh. And there's a big rock. Here comes Romero. Oh. What a pull count. Oh. Alrighty, so we're showcasing Maida Bueno Silva today who recently got added to UFC 5. She's taking on Raquel Pennington in the co-main event and I, she's been uh, making some headlines in the press conferences, saying some pretty witty lines and if she goes out and wins this fight the way that she's uh making her seem like she's going to do, that she's going to be, uh, <laughs> that she's going to do and dominate Raquel Pennington. And she might have ourselves a, a, a nice star at women's bantamweight since uh, Amanda Nunes retired. Now, we're taking on Arena Donna here, who has pretty nasty boxing. Coming off of uh, the... I forgot. Dude, I, I don't know why I'm forgetting the lady that she fought. But they had that nasty fight where she was getting her uh, leg shot. It'll, it'll come to me in the middle, in the middle of this. Woo! It's, uh, I'm Mexican. You know, her hype kind of got doled down after the Amanda Nunes loss. But it, it came back real well. Oh, look at this. That unrealistic shit. <laughs> but yeah, Myra Buena Silva, she, they just uh, uploaded her uh, bout against Lena Landsberg. And, you know, she showed some really good stuff. From the southpaw position a couple times. She's pretty knowledgeable where when she's in open stance. She ha was she has available on top of uh, pressuring in for her jujitsu. So, of course, we're going to be looking to get the fight to the ground. Hey, hey, hey. Well, time. Yeah, notice how I use the leg kick stumble. To build uh, grapple advantage. And then I was able to get uh, my takedown there. So, that kind of works pretty well. Not super consistent, unfortunately, but... Works pretty well. We're going to get this Taco Waco fellow down the side side. Uh-oh. Oh. Te jodite, Taco Waco. All right. Ooh. Taco Waco. Submission. Naco. One shot. Sub. Oh. Oh, this girl is a problem problem. I know she got 96 submission offense, but God damn. That's how we start off, huh? One shot submission with Mayra Bueno Silva. Yo, she. Wow. Yeah, you hear DC? Submission wizard. <laughs> That's. Uh... One shot subs are pretty hard to get. Usually it takes two. But, I, you know, she ninja choked uh, Holly Holm. And that's why that move is at a high level. That bodes very, very uh, well for us. So, all right, let's keep this all going. All we have ourselves Miss Mayra Bueno Silva going against Valentina Shevchenko, who is a tough, tough anti pick. What a fucking name! A tough ask in any one of the divisions that she's in because her footwork is so fucking good. So we got to make sure that we look to circle to the outside of her lead leg. There we go, and get her planted right up. To the cage and get ourselves a nice takedown. That stuff really matters when it comes to the footwork. 
especially a faster fighter because it can feel like you're just chasing him, chasing him forever. And it's really important for Maida Buena Silva to get the fight to where she's that strongest at, which is on the ground. Now, she does show some really good stuff on the feet, as I mentioned before. But the anti-pickle. trying to move. Look to land some strikes to get some GA. Oh, I guess this individual does not know about the muscle transitions. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, reversal. Let's go right here. See if we can get him to the cage. Ooh. Why would you do that? What sense did that make? Why would you pull me into your guard? I mean, Vantino does have some pretty good subs, but... It's not exactly something I have to be too concerned about, right? Oh, Valentina. Pass over. Oh, what are you going to go for? There we go. Like to double up on the fakes, but might have won a silver. I really hope that she wins by finish. I hope that she gets her fight that she wants against Juliana Pena because I think everybody's pretty much aware that we all know that uh, Amanda had like COVID or whatever. Didn't want to pull out the fight. Uh, wasn't training as much. Juliana bragged about uh, knowing that information. Like, yeah, she's not her best right now. So it's the best time to take her. Which is cool if you like know that. But to brag about it, not exactly uh, the coolest thing. <laughs> you know, obviously, it's the fault of the fighter when it comes to preparation. If it's not going their way. Come on, go up. But, um... Then when she got it, uh, when she got the Amanda Nunes that's actually preparing for a fight, what was it, fifty forty three or fifty forty four? Her toughness kept her in the bout and made the bout pretty competitive. But you know, Amanda retired after the Aldana fight, and yeah, she had her. She walked away. So now we have another Brazilian moving up in the ranks. All right, we're gonna go attack this armbar. Who's looking to become the next women's bantamweight champion? And with her skill set, she is very well uh, able to. And Anti Pickle didn't just had zero submission defense. Sorry, Anti Pickle. I guess you weren't as anti as your name implied. Just talking about the, the former champion Amanda Nunes that were taking her on. Touches the gloves and we're on our way. Doesn't matter who we're facing off against. We gotta stick to the game plan, which is a lot of pressure. Got ourselves two easy submissions so far. Whoa, relax. Relax. Hey, Amanda. Relax. I got block counters all I got block counters all day. You need to chill. This is like the Amanda that got herself. Amanda! Relax, my friend. Relax, you just walking into punches. No regard for your health at all. No regard, and you're gonna go up into the Von Flu counter? Are you crazy, Amanda? No, don't go. She's Bueno Silva is actually legit a demon. She is an absolute, bro, bro. Oh my God. Y'all gotta run. For if somebody chooses this woman on the ranks. And they're any good with submissions. They don't have to be the best. God forbid you run into Treehouse using Myra Bona Silva. Because I don't care how good your sub defense is. Holy crap. And look at that beautiful block counter that we nailed. To bring her down to the mat. And we nailed the Von Flew sub counter. And the Arm Triangle sub counter in one bout. Wow. And if you guys want to learn how to do that, that's in the tutorials. That's in the tutorials on my channel. How to initiate submission counters. Uh, just drop my controller. Honestly, ain't much to say. Ain't much to say. Let's see if we can get one more fight and then we can call it a showcase. Alrighty, the fight that got called a no contest. It was uh, her victory against Holly Holm over... Uh, non performer enhancing amount of Adderall. Gonna look to use the open stance kicks. Especially against Holly Holm. Holly Holm was one of my favorite picks in UFC 3. Because uh, in a world that loved uh, Amanda Nunes and 
Valentina Shevchenko. Holly Holm was just fun as hell to use, especially because of uh, the perk, the butcher. And we got ourselves a, a little, you know, Holly got a skill set on her. Got a nice little skill set on her. Makes her a problem to deal with. So we got a reminder. We got a reminder. We're not going to let you box us for free. Nah, Holly. I'm going to put the fear. I'm going to put the fear of silver into your heart. Now get good over here. Save all that boxing shit another time. Oh my shit. Ah. Ah. I got to do something about that machine gun fire shit. All right. That's what I get for talking shit. All right. Good. 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 I want to have some adversity for the showcase. Okay. You gonna run right into our punches, huh? We gotta be really careful, especially if our block gets low, because uh, Holly has like these nasty four-five piece. There it is, four-five piece uh, head kicks that can get real nasty for us. All right, exactly where we want to be. Hopefully, this individual does not know how to race. Okay, let's wait half a second. Now transition over to the mount. Should have went the other way. And he still had enough time to race the submission. I mean, the mount transition. Just going the other way. No, 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 no. I'm trying to submit you, my friend. That is my job. That is my job. You seriously went up? You seriously went up? I dare you to go up again. No. Bichasso. All right. Let's see if you go back to what's comfortable for you. Okay. We'll probably get back to it a third time. No, 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 no. Side saddle, even better. Yeah, and I, I think it was it was gonna suck for uh, Raquel. <laughs> it was gonna suck for Raquel Pennington is that she likes to grapple. Oh, I, oh, why would you do that? 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 Yeah, I, I think Mario Bueno Silva is going to get herself a nice finish this weekend. I, I, there's nothing much else I can really say. I don't think this woman's going to lose this weekend. J just off of this alone, I don't think she's going to lose. I think she's too good. I think her submission game is going to prove to be too much for Raquel. And she's going to get the job done. We're going to call it there for the showcase. Um, honestly, very fun fighter to use a woman's bantamweight. She's a submission demon that can strike. Being good with submissions is one thing, but it's a hassle going against really good strikers. But you're able to put the fear of striking into them. A lot of those grappling opportunities open up. So, very good addition to women's band and weight. Oh, I just remember Carol Rosa. That's the lady that fought Reno Donna. She needs to get added to this division, too. All right. That's going to be it. Remember 17. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Much love. Take care and enjoy the fights coming up this weekend. I'm out of here.